Library. Today is Friday, May 15th. I'm Jenny Mosier, and this is episode 25 of the Junior Rebel Express Show. Let's start today's show off with a quick video from Mr. Howe. Hello, CRCS. Today we're going to do an activity where we're using the ping pong paddle. Um, I showed you how we made this last time, but I'll show you real quick again. I just made um, two pieces of cardboard. Okay, there's two pieces there. I just put them together and I use some duct tape to put them together. So this is a ping pong paddle. Again, you're going to need a ping pong, pong, ping pong ball to do this. Um, but you can pick these up at Walmart pretty cheap. So if you are heading there, pick these up and you can do these activities. Um, we're going to work on hitting the ball over using our backhand. And we have two boxes. The bigger box is going to be worth five points. The smaller box is going to be worth ten points. And we're going to work on the backhand. So here's what the backhand looks like. If you're right-handed, you're going to just hold the paddle in front of your body, elbow out a little bit, and this is the back of your hand that's coming forward, so this is the backhand. And this is what we're going to practice today, is the backhand in the ping pong game. I'm going to have Kate, uh, she's going to actually be the one that tries this, so we're going to see how she does. So we're going to work on, I'm going to toss, and she's going to work on the backhand. You ready, Kate? I'm ready. So she got five points there, she got 10 points there, she has 15 total. Good job, Kate. And we'll finish up right there. So that is an activity that you can do at home if you are willing to make a paddle or two. Get a ping pong ball, a couple boxes, small box. Remember I made the net out of cardboard, I just folded it over six inches high and I made a net. So go ahead and make yourself a paddle and work on your backhand and ping pong. See you next time CRCS. Thank you Mr. Howe. Here are the hotline numbers for you and here's the breakfast and lunch information for you. If you can't make either pickup call the number and they will get a delivery out for you. Up next let's talk about Wi-Fi. Here's our list of Wi-Fi hotspots you can go to if you don't have strong internet at your house. We've got locations in Cuba, in Rushford, in Farmersville, and in Black Creek. If you haven't seen the list in a while, check it out. We are updating it as we go. And up next, here's our virtual learning schedule. On Mondays and Wednesdays, classroom teachers are posting their videos. And on Tuesdays, title interventionists and special areas teachers are posting their videos. And just a reminder, we have one more curriculum packet pickup. So a couple grade levels are pushing out curriculum, but most of the grade levels that are already totally virtual won't be pushing out any new curriculum. They'll just be doing final desk cleanouts. Any final items that are in students' desks that haven't been picked up yet will be out for that day. And up next, we have a message from Miss Navel. Earlier this week, Mrs. Mueller caught Junior Revel helping our CRCS lunch crew at the Rushford Fire Hall. We love to see that even Junior Revel was taking precautions and wearing his mask. Then, Mrs. Navel received a fantastic letter from Elena Hopkins regarding all of the adventures she and Junior Revel took together. Remember, if you want to participate in the fun, pick up a copy of the Junior Revel cutout at either lunch pickup or you can email Miss Navel at tnavel at mycrcs.org. Next, we have this great picture that was sent to us by Ms. Mrs. Hardman. She and her family made a sight word bingo. All you have to do to play is just toss a rock and when it lands on a word, you have to say that word. What a fun and creative game, Hardman family. Next up, we have a video from our school librarian, Mrs. Sprague. Hello, CRCS Elementary. I'm here today to talk to you about library. Unfortunately for library, Flipgrid didn't work quite as well. So what I've done instead is create a Facebook page for the library. It's called Mrs. Sprague CRCS Library Page. So hopefully you've already joined my page, but if you haven't, simply Go to Facebook, type in Mrs. Sprague CRCS Library page and ask to join. Once I've invited you in, you'll have access to everything there. So I've been posting lots of stories. I've got picture books on there and I've been reading some chapter books. Mrs. Ronan has now jumped in. Um, if you've seen the most recent posting of Mrs. Ronan, she had recently read a story and then 
she got out her guitar and shared a song hoping that you would sing along. I'll bet you didn't know that Mrs. Ronan was a musician as well as a library teacher. So I will also be posting fun library activities on Tuesday, so look for those. Um, please stay tuned to my library page and enjoy all the readings and activities that we have going on there. Take care, everyone. Right. Okay, so we know most of the special areas are found on Flipgrid, everything except for library. For library, we need to get into that Facebook page. Just let Miss Fred know and she'll let you into the group. Up next, we have a wonderful video that Mrs. O'Keefe sent us. This is just so sweet. One of her second graders made little people out of rocks, and here she is narrating the story about the rock people she made. Sunny outside. My dad took my sister and I for a walk to town. On the way to town, we saw a picture of New York State. We live in New York State. There was a man lived next door in a small house. We dropped off some food to him, and then we walked back home. I absolutely love this video. She did such a great job. Thanks for sending it to us, Mrs. O'Keefe. Okay, next, if you didn't know, this week was National Police Week. It's a week dedicated to recognizing law enforcement officers. So one of our teachers, Mrs. Schaefer, reached out to Officer Abdo from the Cuba Police Department and asked him to read a story to her class. And he did such a nice job that we thought we might as well just share it right here for everyone to see. Here is Officer Abdo reading The Cat in the Hat. Hello, everybody. Officer Abdo from Cuba Police Department. Uh, today we're going to read a book. We're going to read The Cat in the Hat, one of my favorites. So let's get started. <clears throat> the Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. And Sally, I did, Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? I hope you guys enjoyed reading the book. Uh, I really enjoyed reading it. Uh, and enjoy enjoy all these the learning that you guys are doing, getting over the internet. And hopefully we'll be back in the classroom soon. Thank you, Officer Abdo. Up next is our tweet of the week. Today's tweet comes from Mrs. Mueller at Mrs. Mueller CRCS. She has a whole folder full of Junior Rebel cutouts ready to go for you at lunch pickup if anyone wants to join in on the fun. Thank you, that's all for today. Today is Friday, so our next video will be out on Monday.